I could go on and on about the benefits of music, but instead I'm going to tell you a story. As I was preparing to speak to you, I recalled how I grew up going to the symphony. My parents took me to the symphony. My elementary school took our classes every year to the symphony. When I learned to play French horn, I was inspired to greater level, levels of knowledge and ability because of the symphony. But when I was 15, my life changed forever. My band director wanted to motivate us to greater levels of musical understanding. You see, we were playing a segment of Mahler's second symphony, O Red Rose. So she invited us to attend the San Antonio Symphony to hear their performance of Mahler's Resurrection Symphony. It was Thursday evening, May 17th, 1990, at the Majestic Theater. I remember loving the Majestic Theater because it looked like you were outside when you were inside and it had this huge, beautiful fish tank in the lobby, and it was where the symphony played. After the performance, I was speechless. I was so completely amazed by what I had not only heard, but what I had experienced, because you see, music is not something you just hear, it's something you feel. And so I went home and I wrote about it. I happened to find my journal entry from that night, and I'd like to share it with you. So, from my 15-year-old self to you, it reads, I think God spoke to me tonight. It's like these hands came from the stage and went straight to my soul. It found me. It felt me. It held me, and all of a sudden I felt understood, and I knew I was going to be okay. Something came to life on stage and rushed through the air to me, and it was powerful, and it was beautiful. Man, the fish in that tank sure are lucky. <laughs> I was 15. These musicians changed my life that night. They breathed life back from paper and ink and gave me a path and understanding and hope, and that's what they do. That's what they've trained their whole life to share with you, and it's an incredible gift. That night was so significant to me. I still have the program. Mm -hmm. But right now, you can't go hear Mahler's Resurrection Symphony because Mahler's symphonies require a full symphony orchestra, and then some. Under the management's current proposal, we would not have the needed numbers of masterful musicians to bring life to these great works. Why should we go to another city to hear great works of Shostakovich and Mahler and Tchaikovsky, just to name a few? I'll tell you why, because these artists, artists are not being paid the wages and benefits they deserve. Star Wars requires 72 to 120 musicians. We need those experiences here. On the group Save the San Antonio Symphony, I asked a question. Why does a city, what does a city without a symphony mean to you? The responses were honest, heartfelt, and I think everyone, including leaders of San Antonio, should listen carefully to a few of the many responses like a community not connecting. The word sad was noted several times. A place where artists aren't being respected or heard. A city not worthy of city status, an uncultured place, a lack of professionals to teach our children at a master level. The musician of, musicians of the San Antonio Symphony create a place people can go to be found, to be understood, to, be, to feel, to rejoice, to learn, to reflect, to celebrate, and to be inspired. So we are here rallying together for the musicians of the San Antonio Symphony so they can get the pay they deserve, so they can stay in our city and continue to change lives. Thank you.